back to The Sweet Spot. I'm Angelique and I am so excited. This week we have Eric D. Salisbury, an amazing artist and muralist who's not only a, a creative genius, but he's a man of God and we're going to talk a little bit about him and what, what motivates him and what you know inspires him. So just sit back and hang out with us. What is your sweet spot? Um, I think it's when you get to the point where you just magically begin to create art. You don't think much about it. You respond to your medium. You know, the colors talk to me. Um, my brushes relay that information. Um, you know, so it's, and when it's all just happening magically, you don't have to think about it. It just impulsively happens. You don't care if you get paint on the floor or on yourself. Um, you're communicating, and that's when that is the sweet spot. Oh, and anyone I went in professionally as an artist, that's when I decided that uh, I would do that. It's interesting, how do you become a professional artist? And it's just one of those things you decide you're going to do. There was a time in my life when I was at a crossroads of knowing what to do with my life, because I was kind of pursuing athletics, and I wasn't really taking art seriously. You know, when you have something that's natural, that you're naturally gifted to do, you kind of take it for granted. And that's something that I deal with my art to take it for granted. And uh, I got injured, and uh, I was sitting up thinking about, you know, what am I going to do with my life? What if this happens again and I can't perform any longer? What can I do that I'm really so naturally gifted at that if I decide I want to do those same things, I would do all right? And um, I didn't really know for sure, but I remember I was talking to my mother about it. And as I was going through that process, she went into the back room and she came out with a manila folder. And in that folder was a certificate. And it was from kindergarten. And it was an art award. And so that was my clue that that was my natural gift. That was the gift that I should pursue. And it's all about shapes and colors. You know, it's about movement, it's about form. I find beauty in everything, so I just take it in. I don't worry about how to file it or where it's going to go. I take it in, then when it's time to paint, it comes out. He, he's about purpose, and he writes from the heart, and he captures emotions and feelings. I particularly like, he writes about everything. Everything inspires him. Um, life itself, I mean the universe, everything that God has created, that inspires me. I look at things all the time. I see colors, I see shapes, I see movement. Um, I just, it's just all coming into me. And when I create, it just starts to leak out on my canvas. My sweet spot when I'm really in my purpose, when I'm flowing, when I'm surrendered to everything that is, when I am allowing myself to be a channel. And as I said, I am a writer and I never decide I'm going to write a poem about this or that. I might wake up at four in the morning and I hear that little ta ta ta, and there comes a poem, and I grab my pen and it just flows effortlessly. That's my sweet spot. Intersecting with destiny, that's my sweet spot. Allowing myself to be a channel, a vessel, just surrendering to what is, that's my sweet spot. Thank you again for living with me in the sweet spot. Special thanks to our guest artist, Eric D. Salisbury. Until next time.